what's up dudes? We just got back from doing a gigging trip with County Line Charters and I'm gonna show you the haul. A beautiful 19, 20 inch flounder. We got a big fat sheep's head. A huge Mahara, dude. Another nice 15 inch flounder. And another sheep's head, dude. We got a lot of meat, but uh, it's filet time right now. I'm gonna get at it. All right, dudes, tonight we're in Jupiter, Florida on a gigging trip for Flounder and Sheep's Head with County Line Charters. Huge shout out to Captain Eric. This dude is as legit as it gets. If you're in the Palm Beach, Martin County area and want to have a good time fishing, give him a call. He does all sorts of cool stuff like flounder gigging, peacock bass trips, inshore snook and jack, nearshore ocean trips, gator hunting, you name it, he pretty much does it. My dad and I had an epic time on this trip, and in this video, you're coming with us, man. Let's go. So gigging is freaking awesome. Basically, you go out at night with some serious lights that illuminate everything underneath you, when you spot a flounder or sheep's head, you just creep up on them and use a trident style spear to nail them. It's more like hunting than fishing, to be honest. Oh yeah. Yeah, I just saw how big he is. So deep down, I think he's good. Go ahead and lower and get to his head, square up the gig. Yeah, all the way down. He hears us now, so you're gonna have to get lower, lower, lower. Oh, uh, you got him. Get him, Bill. Keep him. Second oh. one. Got you, got you. Yeah. He's hit him. Keep him pinned and bring him up together. Yeah. Oh. That's legal. Yeah. Get him in the boat. Get him in the boat. Swing him in. There we go. Woo! Don't be holding them sheets over there. <laughs> Dangling over the edge. Wow. I'll measure him. No, he's good. Just I'm going to say 14. Job. Yeah, you're nice. right on right there, man. <laughs> right out of <laughs> What's the legal on those? Twelve. You're good. Wow, Dad. How sick was that? That was awesome. <laughs> I found it amazing how close the sheep's head will let you get to them before you actually spear them. But it's super important to get a second spear in them after the first guy nails it. We probably lost as many sheeps as we kept. Man, those guys can slip out of the spear and swim away like nothing ever happened. See him? Nah, bro, you're a hawk. See his head? See his head's in there? Under the log. Under the log. Man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, I can only down. see his tail. Get down. Should I get him in this? Yeah, just get, go to the back. Oh, Ooh, he's there. still there. I'll get him. Yeah, I, I had nothing but... uh. All right, hold on, let me restart the video. So you don't look like a kook. Uh, <laughs> you right. know, I could head it pretty good. No, I got you. <laughs> and I still look like a kook, so you could only <laughs> no, imagine. No, no, it's good, it's good. That was a tough shot. Oh. Do I? Got yeah, I, get, I do got him. All right. Oh, fuck. Right. Yeah. yeah. Now, that's him right there, huh? as low as you can to his head and don't go at an angle, okay? All right. Not yet, not yet. Keep going down. He's not gonna spook all the way down to his head. Okay. And then jam him. Hit him. Yep, keep him stuck. <laughs> <laughs> all right, just keep him right there, all right, bud? Yep. Starting to lose the pole. Yep. Yeah, I'm passing around. Oh, here. <laughs> yeah, Dad, you can grab it there. <laughs> I think I stuck him, though. Yeah, you did. Oh, there she goes. Hold on, we'll get him, we'll get him. <laughs> you got eyes on him? I don't know, he should be right there. See him? Hold on, hold on. He's in the, he's in the seawall. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's right in the crevice of this corner. Hold on, let me hit the... Yeah, I see him there. Powerful. Right, go back there and jam him. You got him. You got him, dude. Nice and slow on his head. It's an easy shot. Down farther, down farther, down farther. And there you go. Can't see yeah, I can't tell if I even have him. You got him. Oh yeah, I can feel him. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, 
the back. Got him. Hold on. He's still wriggling. Yeah, just keep he him is. Down. Just keep him down. You're good. All right. Bring him up. See if he'll come up. <laughs> that's it. Oh. I got this. Just yeah. take your time, because that's the thing. You rush it. Yeah, we're getting and, uh, Let me know when you're going to lift. Hold on. All right, go ahead. Keep it down and just lift it up slow. Nice and slow. Okay, yeah, we got it. Alright. Bring him up. Bring him in. Oh, okay. Nice. Boom. Good job, guys. <laughs> Sick, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. Man, not many things are more fun than that. <laughs> that's so good cool. thing. Well, he had nowhere to go. You know, he <laughs> I, in said, I said easy shot. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that was. Yeah, he was pinned in. That was a freaking donkey boy. That was a fun one, dude. Wow, so classy with the crushed Miller light can in there. So you know I'm pumped for some sheeps, but the real prize on a gigging trip is the big flounder. We already had a nice one in the cooler, and then at the very end of the night, we rolled up on a doormat that took the gig to the head. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Hold on, hold on. I'm getting too far. Nope. Hold on, I got you. Yeah. Bring him up. Hold on, hold on. I got you on the trolling motor, dude. Hold on. Yeah, that's it, dude. Ready now? Yep. That's a fucking... Nice. Wow. It's a damn halibut. <laughs> Swing it right over that. <laughs> okay. Dude. You got right through this. Yeah, pop that middle one out of him there. Nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah. Twenty. That's sick. Twenty if anyone asks. Huh? Twenty if anybody asks. <laughs> So dudes, if you're a local in the area and have never went gigging, I'm telling you, you gotta call County Line Charters and set up a trip. It's more affordable than a regular fishing charter and it's a great way to switch things up from your normal way of fishing. Plus you'll go home with some meat and if you've been watching my videos then you already know we're headed to the kitchen to cook up some funky stuff dude. Let's go. After filleting all these fish, I had a bucket full of carcasses and I was like, what can I do with these? And then it hit me. Let's make a fish broth and use it to make a crazy fish soup. Yo, what's up dudes? I want to show you something. Look at this. This is a ball of frozen sheep's head, flounder, and mahara carcasses, dude. How beautiful is that? I'm defrosting it and um, it's a couple days after our gigging trip. County Line Charters, dude, look them up. It's like the most fun thing ever. But uh, yeah, frozen ball of fish and I'm gonna make a fish stew or like a fish chowder. And I'm gonna start with the stock, dude, but I had to show you this. This is ridiculous. <laughs> All right, boys, let's get to cooking. So to make the fish stock for our soup, I just threw the carcasses in a big pot, covered them with water, brought it to a boil, and then let it simmer for like two hours. Then I strained it, and what was left was a perfect fish stock. Now, hopefully you're keeping up with my videos, and you already know I'm eating a carnivore-ish style diet. That's basically animal products only plus a little fruit. So you know I gotta make this recipe carnivore style. The only ingredients we're using here are bone broth, heavy cream, smoked oysters, shrimp, the sheep's head we gigged, and pork roll. 
This is pork roll, dude. And if you don't know what pork roll is, I'm sorry, but you're blowing it, dude. Pork roll clearly states pork roll on the package. It is not Taylor ham. And it's a classic New Jersey thing, and I'm using it for the stew, chowder soup, whatever you want to call it, dude. But I had to show you. Pork roll. Okay, now that you know what pork roll is, let's get to cooking. Throw a couple slices of pork roll in with the shrimp and let them cook a bit. Next, let's throw in a few cups of that fish stock that we made and also maybe like a half a cup of bone broth. Get that broth nice and hot, and then it's time to toss in the sheep's head and smoked oysters. Then hit it with some heavy cream and let it all cook together for a few minutes until the fish is done. And boom, you got a carnivore diet style fish soup. Dudes, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.